Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Top 10 Hogs of War Plays of the Month. This is going to be for April of 2021. I am your host, Pinstripe, and we have got plenty to get through today. We have had the Hogs of War League Season 2 going on over the last few months, and that will be coming into the Top 10 Plays specifically for that. But for now, we're going to kick things off, as always, with number 10. And it's going to go to ADB95, of course, playing out of Italia here on uh, Stop the Dams, the mission in single player in Pins Mod version 3.0. He's got his commando on top of the dams and is positioning himself behind the enemy artillery. You can tell it's Pins Mod version 3.0 because of the uh, name change to the artilleries. They are now known as howitzers, but he's bringing out his airburst and is looking to deal damage to the artillery on the far side. It's going to come down and connect with almost all of the shells dealing all of that initial damage, but gets the kill on the artillery and deals that big 100 damage. It's always nice when you start off with some big damage on the big old artillery, some good plays there from ADB. Number nine. This one's going to go to Bobby here on Mission 2's Routine Patrol. He is, of course, a single sapper, which you would initially think, well... That's pretty tame, uh, considering that we know Bobby for his sniper shots. What's he doing with the sappers here? And he's making his way around to the regular position where the gunner usually is, taking out a mine, but not planting it on the gunner himself. Instead, he's actually going to plant it away from the gunner, back it up so he keeps it in sight at all times, makes his way behind the gunner, does the old wrap around and will plant the TNT and you can see exactly what he's trying to do here with this TNT. He wants that gunner to land into the mines to just immediately take him out in a single turn and he aces that 100%. So beautiful plays there with placing the TNT and getting it in the exact spot and the right amount of power and distance away for him to land on that mine. Just an awesome play from Bobby. Number eight. This one is also going to go to Bobby, this time playing on the PC version, and it seems he has answered my question and gone back to playing as the espionage class here. You can see what is going to happen. There is an enemy grunt on the other side of the map. He's got the rifle. He fires and just without even thinking manages to connect with the rifle. Doesn't even need this sniper rifle. Doesn't even need to scope in. Doesn't even need to see him. He just knows exactly what to do and the angle that is needed, the power that's needed, just everything just all coming together for Bobby. And I mean, he's done this week in, week out for the last couple of months, even the past couple of years, just acing those shots. Number seven, this one's gonna go to Caster. He is of course playing out of Austria. You will know him from the league and he's here on mission 12, but before I can even get into the details, he has already just destroyed absolutely everything. And we have to break this down in just a moment because there was a lot of damage there and his positioning is also extremely important on this play. So he throws the shrapnel grenade, which manages to roll all the way across to the enemy pigs, blows up all of the tanks. He does damage his own pig as well, but in the pro look at all those damage numbers, just beautiful to see. And where he is currently standing is exactly where the medal will drop. He gets the double kill and in doing so, wins the mission great play there number six this one's going to go to crumble playing out of wales here on mission 13's glacier guns he has a hero he has a heavy machine gun and he has a whole bunch of bullets to lay into that enemy gunner who just immediately disintegrates and he also manages to kill the other gunner so gets the double kill with that trick shot Let's just see that one again in slow motion because just all of those bullets firing into the single enemy gunner eventually just ends up being too much. He explodes, which then knocks his own teammate into the water, killing him. And in doing so, Crumble is then able to win the round and win the mission. And I'm guessing with the survival bonus intact as well. So nice plays there from Crumble. Number five. This one's going to go to Caster again here doing a speed run. It's very quick here on the first mission. He throws the grenade. It bounces off the tree. It rolls back around to the first pig and he gets the fullest amount of damage. What? Just what? 
<laughs> Seeing it again in slow motion, just accidentally bouncing it back off the tree, just completely unintentional, but getting the full 30 there. And another awesome play. Number four. It is, of course, going to go to the Silent Ninja Jetpack Assassin Machetino playing out of Italy here. I believe this was a game night in the Hogs of War community discord with some online multiplayer here on the generated map. He is, of course, once again playing as a paratrooper, limping along with barely 10 health with only 10 seconds on the clock. He's trying to make it to commit his suicide mission against ADB's team. And with barely three seconds remaining, he makes it up the hill and fires the shot into the air, but just perfectly weaving his way around the mines and making his way to the enemy to then deal the maximum amount of damage and get the kill. So I'm just gonna leave this one so you can hear the reaction from the guys. No. Oh. <laughs> there is not enough time. I think he can, I think he fucking can. <laughs> it's limping. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's exactly what I thought. Oh my god. Good to you know we had one health, and now we're dead. Yeah, I mean. Number three. This one's going to go to Bobby once again. Yet another play from him in this top 10. He has been pretty monstrous here as the engineer class. We're playing on Bridge the Gap and he's going to position himself in a position that is not exactly strong, not exactly weak, not entirely sure what he intends to do. But, I mean, most people from this distance would probably go for the grenade launcher. But in this case, he's gone with the shrapnel. And I think you can kind of tell what's going to happen here because he throws it. It bounces in the mines. It throws itself towards the enemy. And 48 damage on the scout, bumping into his own teammate and bumping him down into the pit, which in competitive terms is just a massive play. Whether or not it was intentional or just a fluke, who knows. But just getting the connection on the mine and the 48 as well from that distance on the scout to then slide all the way down but next to his teammate and knock him into the pit just huge unbelievable plays from bobby and if that happened in competitive then me oh my that would be pretty damn crazy number two it's gonna go to Juanito here on Mission 8, the spying game. Gonna be playing as the Marley Pigs here, I'm guessing on hard mode against the Tommy's Trotters. He has upgraded his pigs to a saboteur and is gonna be looking to plant a mine here onto the enemy surgeon. Now, uh, the surgeon doesn't have that much health, but he will be looking to blast him into the water. And of course, the big benefit with having a saboteur on your team is the inclusion of the super shotgun. And seeing as the enemy spy is right there, why not shoot him towards his own teammate and maybe get some extra splash damage along the way? And that is exactly what's going to happen here because the mine detonates at the perfect point and both pigs are swimming in the water. The spy actually knocks the surgeon, dealing one damage and they both drown in exactly the same spot so just a beautiful double kill here from Juanito just gets that mine placement perfectly done and just oh, just perfect timing there with the super shotgun 11 damage on the spy 10 on the surgeon and the water damage just does the rest and the fact that they actually die right on the same spot exactly in the same place is pretty funky but a nice double kill there from Juanito but the number one play of the month for April 2021 is going to go to none other than Angorio, who has just been perfecting his mortar shots recently. Now, just look at some of these plays. There are some big, big shots here. Four different clips I've got for you here that just showcase his ability to be absolutely destructive with the mortar. I'm talking like maximum like 120 114 damage here like everything explodes like the main shell all three additional shells and full damage and if you're this garlic grunt gunner into the mines as well here on mission six just just look at the beautiful shots i don't really need to commentate or say that much because you can see the beautifulness for yourself as someone who mains heavy weapons it is just so nice to see these kind of shots and i did get talking to angurio about his method 
of doing this, of, of reliably creating all of this damage. And it was basically along the same lines as my Shrapnel Grenade Masterclass, whereby you sort of aim for the shoulder of the pig. But how exactly do you do it from so far away? I'm not entirely sure. Practice, of course, is key, but just look at that one again. And the full damage again. He gets the kill in the process, and ultimately it is just a very well-deserved first place here for this top 10 plays of the month of which i hope you guys have enjoyed because uh, this series is only made possible by you guys and the clips you submit if you do have clips to submit for the upcoming months then feel free to check out the link in the description or drop them into the fails and play section of the hogs of war community discord and in the meantime let me know everything you have to say about it in the comments below so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you all later for the next one Destination goal.